camera cut out, no doubt from overheating. Got someone approaching the church, so we'll just uh, run the uh, video in case there's a interaction of some kind. Have you done anything about it? Absolutely. I keep coming. That's the best way to keep it going. Uh, I'm talking about the cover-up of pedophilian rape in the church. Do you have a key to the office? Is that what they're looking for? How are you feeling? Can I help you with something? <laughs> so she says she's seen my picket sign before, which is entirely possible. She might have seen it on... Uh, the internet, she might have seen photos of it, or she might have even seen it here with me protesting uh, in the past, because there have been a few protests in the past, including one not that long ago, some months ago in the winter. Um, and yet she doesn't seem to care much about, you know, the issue, doesn't seem to want to do anything. Apparently she thinks that just by coming to church uh, is going to solve the problem. Well, no, actually, just by coming to church and pretending nothing's wrong is absolutely not gonna solve that problem or a whole bunch of other problems um, so just again you know willful ignorance psychological denial not wanting to do anything and uh, by the way totally disregarding uh, pretty well all of the seven principles of Unitarian Universalism uh, such as the principle the fourth principle which calls for a free and responsible search for truth and meaning. I don't, don't see her or any other Unitarian Universalist really engaging in a free and responsible search for the truth and meaning of my picket signs and, and uh, certainly not doing anything about it. Um, oh, quite a nice uh, bunch of geese there. It's like a goodly number of geese flying there. Anyhow, um, you know, just again, willful ignorance, psychologically denial, pretend nothing's wrong, don't don't do anything to, uh, oh, and more over there. Wow, this is, I think, worth uh, recording. So, a bunch of geese over there. Another one went that way behind the school. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if they're even nesting or, or, not nesting, but basically taking a break behind the school. I wouldn't be surprised if I went behind the school. There'd be a bunch of them on the uh, football field. Oh, and some more here. My goodness, look at all these geese this morning. Hmm. Should I say something about Unitarian Universalists being silly geese in response to my protests against Unitarian Universalist courage abuse? Because I hate to I hate to defame geese, but uh, in terms of that trope about silly geese, uh, unfortunately Unitarian Universalists uh, are all too guilty of being silly geese when it comes to uh, how they respond to my protest against uh, Unitarian Universalist clergy abuse and Unitarian Universalist cover-up and denial of clergy abuse and Unitarian Universalist misuse of the SPVM police force and the criminal justice system to try and suppress my peaceful public protest and blogging and, and so on. Um, so, I'm not quite sure what time it is. Um, I think we'll protest a bit longer. Well, it was really a lot of geese this morning. I mean, I'd say some hundreds. Uh, each group I've seen has been at least 50 or 60 geese, and I've seen several groups, so... <clears throat> This is uh, another form of willful ignorance and uh, psychological denial that some Unitarians take, and that is to simply pretend that they don't see the protest, don't see the picket signs, just don't look at them, don't interact in any way. That's you know, just another form of willful ignorance and psychological denial, which is uh, 
par for the course with Unitarian Universalists. That's why I've been protesting for 20 years instead of two weeks or two months or let's say two years. Um, it's all about willful ignorance and psychological denial, a total refusal to deal responsibly with uh, the issues I'm protesting against, uh, clergy abuse, anti-religious intolerance and bigotry, cover-up of clergy abuse, misuse of the criminal justice system to try and uh, conceal clergy abuse and, and so on and so forth. Um, they just don't want to know, they just don't want to deal with it, and so they just uh, ignore or dismiss the protest uh, in one way or another when they're not capable of uh, shutting it down, uh, which thankfully has been measured in not more than two years they've been able to shut down the protest. <clears throat> I think I will do a little uh, time check here. See uh, what the time is. I actually do have something to do today. There's actually another protest uh, I want to document. Okay, 1019. Um, anyhow, let's see here. Alrighty. Okay, so 10.19, service starts in 10 minutes, so I could expect a few more people to show up, so I think I will uh, protest a bit longer. And uh, there's a 195 bus going the other way. All right. Never hurts to show the uh, bus passengers the signs. See one or two people looking at them anyway. So, guy uh, waving, saying hi, Robin, all very friendly. Well, how about uh, dealing with the issue at hand instead of pretending to be nice? Because when you turn a blind eye to the cover-up and denial of pedophilia and rape in your religious community, when you turn a blind eye to your religious community's egregious misuse of Canada's blasphemy law and other sections of the criminal code to try and keep uh, pedophilia and rape and other clear abuse hidden from the public, well, you're not really that nice. Hello? Uh, why do we order your presence here today? Well, you're Unitarian Universalist, aren't you? Yeah. Right. So your religion's doing this. That's your, oh, well, I guess so. I just, I wondered if you had the peace bond at the downtown church or something like that. What? No? You had the peace bond at the downtown church. No? That might have something to do with it. <laughs> might, maybe. Okay, well, good luck to you. Good luck to me? Good luck to you. Is that all you're going to do is wish me luck instead of maybe writing to the UUA and asking them why they're using blasphemy law to hide pedophilia and rape, you're not going to do anything about it? No, I'm, I, I can't do anything. I mean, this, this thing started way below, beyond, the, before I was there. I wasn't there. I wasn't right, there. well, apartheid has started in South America a long time before a whole lot of white people showed up, but a lot of white people did do something about it. It's your problem, buddy. You're a Unitarian Universalist. Your religion covers up and hides pedophilia and rape and it even falsely accuses people of violating blasphemy law in efforts to hide pedophilia and rape. It misuses the criminal justice system to hide clergy abuse. And when you have this lackadaisical attitude, nothing's going to change. So go into church. Have you presented any evidence to the police about pedophilia and rape? This was cases in the United States where people were charged, tried, convicted, and went to jail. Your religious community tried to intimidate me into suppressing blog posts that told about cases where people were convicted by falsely accusing me of violating Canada's blasphemy law. This is an attempt to hide pedophilia and rape from the public by misusing the criminal... In the media? What? Weren't these cases reported in the media in the States? Yes. So they've been reported? They've been reported, but, but your church is still trying to hide them even after people have been convicted. 
I don't know. I don't see the hiding. I'm sorry, Robin. When they send me a cease and desist demand letter and tell me to take down blog posts about pedophiles and rapists or face being accused and charged with Canada's blasphemy law, this is an attempt to intimidate me into taking blog posts down that tell the truth about pedophilia and rape. Cases where people were actually convicted and went to jail. I. But is, is your intent to intimidate people coming in? My attempt is to... Like you, you were the downtown guy, right? You were normally downtown? Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah, so okay, I went in one time and you were, you were filming me and trying to intimidate me, I think. You think I'm trying to intimidate you? I'm trying to let you know that why, you're... Why would, why would you, why would you uh, film somebody like that? Because I've been assaulted by Unitarian so, so Universalists. So your I've been... response in being feeling assaulted is to assault others? No, it's not. It's to record what happens. So if someone assaults me, there's a record of it. If there's a police interaction, there's a so record of it. Assault or intimidate. So your, your purpose is not to assault or intimidate members coming in? My purpose is, is, that, is to... Is your purpose or not? My purpose is to tell people you've got a serious clergy abuse problem, you've got a serious clergy abuse cover-up problem, you need to do something about it. That's my purpose, sir. It is not to intimidate people. Yeah, but I think that, that, you need to make that clear because I've been downtown and you you were following me into the church. I don't follow anyone into the church. I have to, I have to circulate. I have to circulate. So I might have been behind you on the well, sidewalk, walking behind you, but I'm not filming, following you. You're actually filming and intimidating. So I have no problem with you coming out and doing your thing. I don't. But you intimidating me or my family for coming oh, are you? Are you Sean? Are you Sean? Okay. Are you the guy who thought I'd come into the church and shoot people? No, no, I'm not Sean. You're not Sean? No, see, there you go. So all I'm saying okay. is... Okay, no, but you know, Sean, Sean has, has made some ridiculous is, claims. And what I'm saying is, but I'm saying is this. Listen, you're all good, man. Do them, do your thing. I'm, I'm, I support that. That's all good. Oh, really? You're going to write to the UUA and demand an explanation for what they're doing? No, we, we've been through this. I know Diane met with you. I mean, you're... you're no, she didn't meet with me. Yeah, she okay. refused to meet with me. Uh, okay. I'm still so trying anyway, to get her to meet with so me. So you've, you've, been getting, you've been fed misinformation, sir. You've been fed misinformation. I'm all good with you doing this. All I'm saying is if your intent is to to notify and let people know I'm all cool with that that's right? what I'm that's doing good but if 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 and when you start because I'm telling you I went downtown one right time, and you were following me and saying you filmed me doing stuff I don't know what hang on hang on I, I, I don't go around uh, you think I'm wrong in, in what saying I'm saying that? is you, know, you think I'm wrong in saying that I think you're misinterpreting okay, something so what my interpretation what I, I'm just telling you yeah. that's my interpretation right of you doing that. right and you being here right. trying to intimidate people coming in. Why am I? Edu why, I I'm trying to. I'm trying to tell people you got a problem. You're you're good with that. I'm okay with good. that. Good. So where's the intimidation? When you were following me and and filming, do you film people coming in? I film everything do all you, the do time. You film people? Are you filming right now? Yes, I am. Okay. Uh, so what I'm saying is, and that filming. Why are you filming? I told you. I've been attacked by people, so I have to protect myself. Right. I have to have evidence. Right. There's multiple reasons, and one of the reasons but is you, one. You, of, you let me let me let me finish. Let me finish. One of the reasons I'm filming right now, right. besides all of those other things, right. is to document how Unitarian Universalists respond to my protest, so I can show the public. Well, this is how Unitarian Universalists respond to my protest. Right. But so okay. I, that, that's that's okay. But so what saying, I'm saying is this is documentary. Video. It may not be like a W5, it, but it's it basically be, it the same be, thing. You can call it what you want, but what I'm saying is the intimidation portion of it, that's what I'm talking well, about. Well, you're talking about it. You know, I can tell you there's like little old ladies that walk by me all the time and they're not intimidated. No, uh, I, I, what I'm saying Maybe is you think, are, but... Think, uh, no, I'm not. I, well, I, you said I you were. You said no, that you were intimidated. I, I felt you were trying to intimidate. Oh, I felt I was trying to intimidate you. Right, exactly. I'm and sure you, I'm not trying to do that. I'm trying to get you to know... And I'm trying to get everyone you're, else to know you got a serious you're problem. You're well known within the UU community, and I think that. Well, why are, why isn't anyone doing anything? Why isn't why why has the UUA yet to withdraw its false blasphemous libel accusation and apologize? Why is the UUA not divulging? So why is you? I know you've had these discussions with other UU members, and, right. and you enjoy right. it and all that kind of stuff. The, the dialogue. What I'm saying to you is, what would it take for you to? Um, uh, you know the address here, right? Yes. Okay. Write a letter right. to the U. Right. My name's Tim. You're Tim, okay. I'm Tim. I'm right. a board member here. You're right? a board member, okay. Right. right. So you say, Tim, this is what we spoke about. Right. And tell me what it is. Okay? I'd I'll letter. do that. I'll do that. Okay. Good stuff. Um, I'll send, uh, you got a website with all the board members on it? Yeah, you got it. You know okay. that. Come on, man. You're, you're no, but I haven't looked time. at it recently. Yeah, you're on time. Uh, you're online all the time. You, what? No, you, but have, you know about the board <laughs> site. You know the addresses. You know everyone's name. No, I don't, actually. Uh, okay, well, you, I you, know you, that you have a website. I haven't looked have at it recently. Stuff, so I'm, so yeah. I'm saying is put it in okay. and I'll respond to you. And then after, if we say, uh, can we, can we, because I know I'm not the first one. 
to do this? Mm -hmm. right? now, you do this all the time? You've been doing this for... Uh, you know, and you know why I do it all the time? Okay, but because saying, nobody does anything. Okay, but <laughs> if people some, did something... Is there something... Of course there, there's things that can be listen, done. All I'm telling you is there's good intention people here who come here all the time. Right. And I, I don't, I'm not sure you want a resolution. I think maybe you like this. No, 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 no. no. You're, you're badly mistaken. I want a resolution. I want the UUA to admit its problem. I I, and I want the Unitarian Church of Montreal to admit their problems because there I'll are wait, local I'll issues. Letter, I'll wait for the letter and then we'll yeah. record my response. Okay? Right. Okay, sounds good. See you later, Tim. I'll try and get that to you within the next week or so. John, right? What? What's your name's John, right? Robin. Robin, Yeah. Well, that was an interesting little conversation. I hope we have it all recorded. Yes, we do. Excellent. So that was Tim, a board member from the uh, Lakeshore Unitarian Universalist Church, uh, telling me that uh, he thought I was trying to intimidate him uh, by following him outside the Unitarian Church of Montreal. I do no such thing. I do have to circulate. I have to walk back and forth on the sidewalk. That's one of the legal requirements. I mean, I can stand still for a little while, but I can't be stationary the whole time. So I have to circulate. So I have to walk back and forth. So sometimes, yes, I will be walking behind people as they're going into church because I have to circulate. It's not because I'm following them or anything. Um, and I usually walk, you know, continue on past the church entrance and, and then turn around and come back. So. Uh, so in any case, if somebody thinks that I'm trying to intimidate them, well, it's basically wrong-headed thinking. Um, but uh, Tim even said he wasn't intimidated, which is interesting. So he, he said, oh, I thought you were trying to intimidate me, but he, he acknowledged that he wasn't intimidated. Well, maybe if you're not intimidated, it's because I'm not actually trying to intimidate you. <laughs> I can assure you that, you know, if I can assure anyone that if I wanted to intimidate people, I'd do a lot more than just uh, walking on the sidewalk back and forth. Um, so in any case, uh, Tim asked me to send him a letter to fill him in on what the issues are, um, and then he will respond to it. So I think I will do that. Um, that is, on the surface, a positive response. Um, so uh, whether he actually, um, okay, the guy, in the car. I'm not sure, but I think he might have uh, grabbed my camera in the past. Somebody similar to him did that outside of this church uh, some time ago. Um, anyhow, uh, we'll see what comes of it. I, I suspect it's all. Uh, well, you know what? I won't. I won't. Uh, I won't denigrate 